My name is Narada. I work as a bike courier in downtown Toronto and I also live in downtown Toronto. I started doing this type of work in 2016. Uh, at the time I had another full-time job and I was a few years out of university. I thought this would be a good way to pay my student loans. After a while, when I stopped doing my other full-time job, I started doing this work full-time. I initially started working for Uber and then I worked for DoorDash and Skip after that. Uh, I work for all three now. One of the biggest things that's changed is uh, our wages have actually gone down. It's been about every two years that Uber introduces a new pay structure change that sort of brings uh, our wages down. DoorDash has done the same. Skip has not changed their pay structure and our wages have been flat. but. That's not in line with inflation, that's not in line with the rising costs of living in the city. And it's actually a big uh, sticking point for a lot of people because a lot of people started doing this job, you know, when Uber started. They were making a certain wage and five years in, with all this experience, with all these deliveries that they've done, they're getting paid less than when they started, which is a ridiculous thing for someone to work any job and five years later to be paid less. Everyone expects the more they work in a job, they get seniority or they get more experience, their wages sort of go up instead. A lot of the apps sort of sell this dream of work when you want, work how you want and you don't have a boss, which is very appealing. The message that they're sending isn't completely factual. To do deliveries during the pandemic, if we were our own boss, we would set the terms of what is safe. And if we decided that we were gonna have the customer meet us downstairs as opposed to entering a highly populated building and going through elevators and pressing buttons, we would be able to set that uh, threshold. But if any of us decided to tell a customer that they would immediately go to Uber and Uber would be like, well, the terms of your contract that you signed is you sort of have to do the deliveries the way we want and not the way you want. I feel like a lot of that control comes in at our financial cost, but not really at any benefit to us. Earlier in the year, the Uber app was experiencing some technical issues and a few people were losing access to their accounts. And I personally lost access to my account for two weeks. Uber did not have any physical offices, so I was not able to see a living, breathing human being. They weren't able to offer me any compensation for the lost hours of work. And they also weren't able to even give me an alternative account that just said, okay, in case someone's account is deactivated for whatever reason, I would call support and I would be like, I, I really need to work, so can you really figure out another avenue for me to be able to work in whatever way possible? And they would almost always just say, no, just hang tight. A lot of people sort of rest easy in the knowledge that, okay, Uber is a big company and it operates, so they're definitely treating their employees correctly. But there's sort of a gap where these big companies have sort of amassed too much power and they're able to write their own laws. When the pandemic hit, uh, the restaurants sort of got together because Uber was charging them too much for deliveries. The restaurants all banded together and had a voice and they lobbied the government and this legislation passed where Uber was no longer allowed to charge restaurants 30% commission. A lot of people don't know that when that happened, uh, we're still getting charged 30% uh, service fees by Uber. So on top of them paying us very little, there's also uh, taking commission on every delivery we do. The nature of the job can be very isolating. Uh, you're doing seven hours on your bike or in your car. The value in having Gig Workers United has been being able to get together with my uh, coworkers and have a voice is one thing, but also being able to provide each other support. That community aspect is very important.